Daily Gospel Reading and Reflection Wednesday of the 28th Week in Ordinary Time From the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 10, verse 1 until 9. The Lord Jesus appointed seventy to disciples, whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way, behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat, and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Gospels Reflection In sending out the seventy to disciples, Jesus gives them precise instructions which express the characteristics of the mission. These imperatives show that the mission is based on prayer. That it is itinerant, it is not idle, it is itinerant, that it requires separation and poverty, that it brings peace and healing. Signs of the closeness of the kingdom of God. That it is not proselytism but proclamation and witness. And that it also requires frankness and the evangelical freedom to leave while highlighting the responsibility of having rejected the message of salvation but without condemnation and cursing, if lived in these terms. The mission of the church will be characterized by joy. And how does this passage end? The 70 to return with joy. It is not an ephemeral joy, which flows from the success of the mission. On the contrary, it is a joy rooted in the promise that, as Jesus says, your names are written in heaven. With this expression, he means inner joy and the indestructible joy that is born out of the awareness of being called by God to follow His Son, that is, the joy of being His disciples. Today's Prayer In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the profound lessons in the mission you gave to the seventy-two disciples. May we embrace the characteristics of this mission in our lives today, rooted in prayer. Itinerant, unital, marked by separation and poverty, bringing peace and healing. Focused on proclamation and witnessing. And carried out with frankness and evangelical freedom. Help us understand that our mission is not about condemnation but about offering salvation. Just as you offered it to us. May our mission be characterized by enduring joy. Knowing that our names are written in heaven, guide us, Lord, in living out this mission with gratitude and gladness in our hearts. In your name, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.